you're saying, Rick. What does the weather look like? It looks lovely. You reckon? Yeah, gorgeous. I mean, over there looks a bit ominous. Well, that's where we're going. To the top of that? With all the smoke? All the smoke. Fire, all the fire of Mordor. <laughs> what we're we doing with this rucksack here? We, uh... Just leaving it there. I think we'll just leave that for something else, mate. Yeah. Right, so obviously, before you go, you want to check the weather, don't you, to make sure it's not dangerous? Yeah. Um, does that look dangerous? Um, only in the bits where you can't see anything. Right, okay. I think up until you get to the cloud level, you're fine. Which one is this that we're doing? Skiddle. Skiddle. Oh, this is Rip, by the way. Say hi. Hi. Hi, lady. <laughs> Alright. See you in a bit. So we've got the map, haven't we? We've got the map. We've got the compass. I haven't brought a compass. Right, good prep. Give me a rucksack at home. <laughs> we use the sun then. Use the like sun. said. This is steep enough. <laughs> See, if you'd have got it at half eight, we'd have got a parking place up top. Um, for the video, I was here at half eight. <laughs> Look at that coming down. down. like that and you can't see anything. Look at all the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> see, this is why it's important to bring other layers in your backpack, isn't it, Riff? Because rain was not forecasted on Google, but it's raining. You should always have... I'm damp. You should always have a full kit with you. You should. So like I said in earlier, I've got my outer layer in my jacket. Outer layer in my backpack, sorry. So that'll be going on. Yeah, waterproof trousers. Yep. You should have all this stuff. Lunch, more importantly lunch. Yep. If you're wild camping, wine. Because <laughs> you can drink that room temp. Brandy. Obviously only if you're over the age of 18. So yeah, time has come putting on waterproofs, which I've said, I've bought the Birchdale. Rick, what one are you putting on? Do you know? Uh, I'm probably going to go with a Sacramento. So, let's get mine on. Boom. All changed. Waterproofs on now. Eventually, this video will get us where we're off the actual road. Yeah, if that had been up earlier, we'd have got a parking space. Oh, I had to wait half an hour for him to get dressed, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Jeans was not suitable for walking up. I told him, but he wouldn't listen. Are you better now about jeans on? the top today can you see the top of that Rick see the top of that one not that one can't see where we're going it looks very steep <laughs> so the last time I came up here was 1967 <laughs> <laughs> 1847 it was a lot steeper back then <laughs> Yeah. And we did what we call the Four Peaks Challenge. Yeah. And it was the Four Ice Peaks in England. Oh, right, okay. So we did Scarfell Pike, Scarfell, Hell Valley, and then Skid Off. Within 24 hours. How'd it go? Well, you all did it, no one died, I'm guessing. We completed it, set off about 6 in the morning. We were in the pub for last orders anyway. What I want to know is, did anyone drop out? That's all I'm bothered about. And you can name and shape. Oh, I can't. Did someone drop out then? Yes. Ha! Two people dropped out. Goat. One suffered quite badly with a bad back. Right. See, I always think people 
see walking up hills and that as like a light activity. Yeah. But it's not as easy as people think, is it? Depends. Obviously on that day we were pushing the pace because we wanted to get it done in a certain time. Yeah. Whereas today, we, we've got all day to do this and we're only doing one hill. That's very true. Hard hill though. Oh, don't be don't be playing it down. This is this is solid stuff. Fourth highest in the UK. Fourth yeah, highest in England. In England. I was going to say if it's fourth highest, that just comes behind. Ben never stood in his got little pipe. Well, no, it's down for five. It's the second highest in the UK. There's a lot in Scotland that are higher. A lot in Wales that are higher. Uh -huh. Thing to consider if you're going to do anything strenuous type walk or it's a hot day, you're going to want to go something for quite an adapt airflow system, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Like the one I've got now has got a good airflow system, which is the black belt. Yeah. Um, your ones is the Alto, is it Alto Rock? So, um, I mean, it's a good backpack, but probably not for yeah, this. Yeah, so. it's filled with products at the moment as well that we're going to film later on and stuff, so yeah, it's not ideal at the moment. So. Yeah, nice yeah. and warm. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it does do that. How much roughly? Do you remember? Is it 35%? 35%. I'm not sure, you'd have to check that. So something like, even this this is steep isn't it? Yeah. So any walking poles will help take it coming down and going up won't they? Yeah, it takes coming the strain down out. more than going up. Takes the strain out of it. And this backpack here comes with pole. Pole holders. Pole holders, so. Yeah. Harry and Rick's top 10 hints of the day. Even though we've forgotten. <laughs> you know, we're learning, I see it as like we're learning together. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the most most seen items strapped to a rucksack. Yeah. Walking poles. Don't use them. Yeah. Well, it's worth it. <laughs> on socks. <laughs> Get a decent sock. It's Harry's top tip number 24. 24. I've actually lost count. Well, I wasn't actually meaning... You didn't have enough things and tools to just sell. I didn't actually mean this video to be one of those, but it's becoming it. So, what Rick also didn't tell me is how steep 
<laughs> this hill is. Now I'm a proclaimed mountaineer though. I've done one mountain four days ago. In Circlip. Little it's hill. Tiny. I'm nearly on my hands. Listen, that looks on the map, it looks flat. <laughs> wow. All the things right are on walks. What are you on for tea? Talk about tea. Where are you going? I'm having a vegan Mexican tapas. Ooh, dirty. Very good. Very, very good. <laughs> Far S, isn't it? We've had it loads, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, we well, have I am having. I don't know, actually. <laughs> I'm going home. Can't keep up with these animals. But. No, but Far S. It's very good, isn't it? If you're in, if you're in Kesin. I recommend going to Bar S. Yeah, Mexican tapas. Yeah, Mexican tapas bar. Getting higher now. My ears have popped. Good view. Silent Hill. <laughs> Comment if you played that video game, it's just because I'm old and I know what Silent Hill is. Um, is there anything else you'd rather be doing on a Saturday, Ray? Absolutely nothing. See? You can't beat it. Fresh air. <laughs> it's very fresh. No, that is very fresh now. Now we actually 